Hi children, hello, welcome to your home school, Delsia class 7, Mathematics, NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our second chapter, Fractions and Decimals. That is your exercise 2.5, fourth main. Express in kg. We know, we need to express these all in kg. So, what is a kg here? 1 kg is equal to how many grams? 1000 grams, right? Similarly, 1 gram is equal to, how will you write in the form of kg? 1 by 1000 kg. 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg. So, your first question, convert 200 grams in the form of kgs. So, how will you write? 200 grams means 200 into 1 by 1000. That will be. Say your children, if you want, you can rewrite like this. Or just you can cancel two zeros, two zeros. And this will be 2 by 10. That will be 0 0.2 kg. So 200 grams is nothing but 0.2 kg. So next, 3470 grams convert. How can you convert here? 3470 into 1 by 1000. Okay, in numerator 0, denominator 0, if you have, you can cancel children. So 10, 10 will be cancelled. You are left with 347 by 100. 100 means what? Two zeros. In numerator, after two values, you have to put point. That is 3.47 kg. Okay? So, next one. 4 kg, 8 grams. 4 kg, no need of converting anything. So, plus 8 grams. This 8 grams, I need to rewrite. 4 kg plus 8 grams means 1 gram is 1 by 1000. 8 grams means 8 into 1 by 1000. That will be how much? After 3 values, you need to put a decimal point. So that will be 4 kg plus 0 0.0. See, 3 values, right? 1, 2, 3 kg. So now add these two. It will be 4.008 kg is your answer. Okay. This is the way we need to convert children. 1 kg 1000 grams. 1 gram means 1 by 1000 kg. See a fifth main. Write these decimal values in expanded form. How can you rewrite this children? So look here. Observe the place value first. Ones, tens. And this is tenth, hundredth. Yes or no? So now split this one. Two is in which place? Tens place. Two into ten plus zero into one plus here what do you have? Zero into one by ten plus 3 into 100th place it is, right? So, this is the way we need to split this decimal values. So let's see the second one, 2.03. After point, you should go this side once and after this point, after point this side, 10th, 100th, 1000th. You have seen in mathematics basics, no? So, in that clearly it is explained. If you want to watch, watch once again. And then start doing this mean. So, now split this one. 2 is in 1's place. 2 into 1 plus 0 is in 10th. Means 1 by 10. Plus 3 is in 100th. 3 by 100. 3 into 1 by 100. So, next one. This is 200.03. 1's, 10's, 100's. 10th, 100th position. So, look here. 2 is in 100's place. Plus 0 is in 10's place. Plus 0 is in 1's place. 
plus 0 is in 10th place, plus 3 is in 100th place. That means 3 into 1 by 100. See the last one in this main? 2.034. 2.034. So, how could you write this one? 2 is in 1's place. That means 2 into 1 plus. This is 10th, 100th, 1000th position. So, that is 0 into 1 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 100 plus 4 into 1 by 1000. Okay? Split the decimals means this is the way we need to split your decimals, right? Yeah, sixth main, find the place value of 2. So, you have 5 sub-questions in this. First one, 2.56. How can you see the place value? This is 2 they are asking here. 2 is in which place? 1's place. So, you may write here, place value of 2 is 2 is in which place 1's place that is 2 into 1 that will be 2 1's place this is right next one 2 is in which place in 21.37 2 is in 10's place that means place value of 2 is 2 into 10 that is 2 tens place it is okay 20 or 2 tens place you can write in your third problem 10.25 what is the place value of 2 2 is in 10th 10th place means place value of 2 is 2 into 1 by 10th 10th place that is to tenths place it is. Okay. See this one. 9.42. 2 is in hundredth place. Right. So place value of uh, 2 is 2 into 1 by 100. That is 2 hundredth. 200's place it is there. Okay. Next one. 63.52. Means where is the 2 place value? This is also in 100th place. That is place value of 2 is 2 into 1 by 100 is equal to 2 100th place it was there. Okay. This is the way we need to find the place values. Okay, with this we are going to end our session. In our next session, we are going to continue with the next main of this exercise. Thank you all.